Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and welcome back to my channel and another Shipper Sunday episode. If you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking the little button down here in the right hand corner. To be notified of all my future videos, click the notification bell that is down beside the title of this video. All right, so let's get started. Today I have a triptych that is called South Sea Dreams. This one I have had in my collection for about a year and I've never brought it to you because I was waiting for spring and summer. I thought what a perfect time to bring you this beauty. I'm still feeling very tropical and beachy and even my nails reflect that vibe because I had to go mermaid once again. They're my faves, I have to say. You know, I can't get enough mermaid nails. So I just absolutely love, as you know, the tropical, beachy, coastal paintings and the themes. So I had purchased this one and I've held on to it so long because I wanted to bring it to you at the right time. I like to tilt it up for you guys to be able to really see the design because of the way my lights love to bounce off the box. But as I mentioned, this one is a triptych, which means it has three panels. I will show you those three panels when I open the box. And so let's go ahead and jump right into the contents of this kit by Shipper. And you know that this palette is gonna be fabulous just from looking at the colors on the front. I know that I have mentioned in many, 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 many <laughs> Shipper Sunday videos that one of the many things I love about the Shipper kits is consistency. They always have the same contents. So you know when you purchase a kit, you're gonna get the same things. And that's what I have in front of us. So we're gonna have our catalog of kits that are available. There's gonna be your instruction manual with all the languages. And then we're gonna have our reference guide, which I know I talk about every single time, you guys, but this is really important because not only does it have a reference that's going to duplicate our panels, but it's also gonna have how we number our paint pots, which we know you have to pay close attention to when you get to the point where you're gonna number those paints. We're gonna have our brush, which you can use to paint however you want, but it's really perfect for the flow technique. And if you're not familiar with the flow technique, I have several videos on how to do that method. So I will link you to that in the description below. In addition, they have our number stickers, which I've already numbered the paint pots, which we're gonna take a look at in just a minute. And I have used this as my guide for numbering the paint pots. The reason they don't have the paint pots pre-numbered for us and I am just assuming this, so you know. You know what they say about assuming when you assume. But if you're mass producing kits like Shipper does, and you have paint pots and they're ch -ch -ch, you have a machine that's just putting the paint in, bloop, 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 it would be extremely time consuming, I would imagine, to have something or someone putting those number stickers on, boom, 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 boom. So I would just assume again that to have a reference here that would tell you how to number those specifically for that particular kit and giving you the number stickers would be the easiest, quickest way for them to be able to get these kits mass produced and out to you. So that's just my thinking on that. And a lot of people have been like, you know, why don't they have their paints numbered as much as we're paying? Well, I don't know about you guys, but it literally takes me two minutes to put my numbers on. So I, I don't really have a problem with it, but that's just my speculation and I have no issues. But you do just need to pay attention because for example, we are given seven strips of paint for this kit and we're gonna number through the F strip up to number 34. And then once we get to 34, we're gonna repeat with the blank circles that they've given us, 
one, two, and then on the G strip, we're gonna go 28, 45, 19, 27, 29, and 33. So if we weren't paying attention and we kept numbering all the way up to 42, then we would have those numbered wrong and you know, we would have an issue when we went to paint our panels. Just pay attention when you number. You definitely wanna make sure you number your paints properly. It can cause a little problem. So let me move these items and we'll take a look at these boards and see how much detail we're gonna have when we complete this piece. The middle panel measures 40 by 50 centimeters and so each side panel is half that size. So now that I've looked at these panels closely, I can tell you there are no tiny cells. There are small cells, but there's no tiny cells. So this would be a fairly quick project, unless you're me, <laughs> and, and it takes you a bazillion years to find time to get to it. But honestly, you guys, this kit, even though it's a triptych and it's fairly decent sized, this would not take a long time to complete because there's not gonna be a ton of tiny cells to work in and to take your time on and that kind of thing. So that is always a great thing to see. And of course, now that I've been doing the flow method on my shipper pieces, I'm gonna to continue to do the flow method on all of my shipper pieces because I absolutely enjoy the heck out of it. I love it so much. It goes quickly, but it's so enjoyable to me. So that's what I'll do when I finally get around to this piece. Now let's talk about the palette because it is fabulous. Um, hello. Do you think my nails go with this palette? Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, say it with me. Come on, you know the words. <laughs> Insert yummy delicious right here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot of you look at this palette and you say, that's a lot of blues and greens. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. But in my world, that is yummy delicious. Yummy deliciousness. <laughs> okay, so I had already swatched this palette and I tried not to drink it. And here's the disclaimer. This palette is neither yummy nor delicious. It is not edible, it is paint. Please do not attempt to eat nor drink this paint. It is toxic for human consumption. Do as Melanie says, not as Melanie does. All right, let's take a closer look at the swatch. I know I mention it every time. I swatch on inkjet printable canvas so that I'm getting an accurate representation now of transparency issues, okay? So this should give us a very detailed indication of how my paints will cover if I'm painting with a standard painting method, which would just be painting it with the brush, right? If I'm doing the flow method, this will not apply. This is just gonna give us a color reference. With the flow method, you're putting down a puddle of paint, you're not gonna see through it unless it is extremely transparent, which none of these are. So let me go ahead and just point out the ones. If for those of you who are going to be painting this just by painting it, if you do not use clear gesso, for those of you who are kind of new to my Shipper Sunday videos and you don't know anything about clear gesso, or if you say, what? You can add clear gesso to a shipper, you know, a board. Shipper is the only board painting I would ever add clear gesso to, and I have a very specific method and a tool that I use, et cetera, et cetera. I will put a video about the clear gesso on a shipper video link here and in the description below so that if you're interested in learning how I do clear gesso, whether you need to, I will put that below, okay? Moving on. Number five was just a little streaky on my swatch because this is a slick surface, very similar to the surface of the board. So that is why I like clear gesso on my shipper. And I'll explain all of that in that video that I'm talking about. Number 20 was kind of the same way. It just gave me a little streakiness. 23 was a great opacity, but it could give you a little trouble in streaking. But I swatched this like five weeks ago, and so I'm not sure if it was my brush 
or something else or lack of stirring, but you may have to be prepared for that color. Yeah, number one is translucent, which means I can barely see that little gray paint pot line. So it might give you a little bit of translucency. You may have to touch up a little bit over that number once you painted the white. And that was all, you guys. Out of 34 colors, those were the only ones that were either a little streaky or slightly translucent. I'd love to hear your comments on this kit and this palette. What do you think about it? Is this something that would be your style? Is this something that you would love to paint? Or is this just somewhere you would love to go? I think everybody would probably love to go here, <laughs> wherever this is. Very soon, I'm gonna be getting a shipment from Shipper, that's a tricky thing to say, that will include a triptych frame so that I can come back and show you guys how you will assemble the triptych frame and frame your completed art with a triptych or any of their frames actually. Because the assembly for any of their frames, their aluminum frames will work the same, I'm just gonna use it for a triptych to show you how that works. Okay, so be sure to be watching the future Shipper Sundays. So once that shipment arrives, I can demonstrate that for you guys. So that is it for today with the South Sea Dreams Triptych by Shipper. I'm obsessed with this palette. You couldn't tell, could you? You can tell my voice gets like, oh, I, feel, I sound like I'm on speed when I love a painting. So I'm gonna try to like, whew, just calm down before I record again, which I'm gonna be doing another Shipper Sunday video. So can't promise much. But thanks for joining me again, you guys, for this week's Shipper Sunday. Join me again next week when I bring you back another beauty from Shipper. Please be sure to visit me at my new mini website, which is melaniebee.info. That link will take you to a plethora of information with shopping links, how to connect with me on all of my social media, in the description below, you'll find links for this particular kit, but you can use the melaniebee.info to also find shopping links for products I use in my videos, anything I've shown you today or in some of the past videos, and for all future videos, I bring you those links will be in there as well. So it's just a, a one-stop kind of shopping place. That's where you're gonna find the paint by number companies I love, diamond painting companies, art companies, where I get the products for my manicures, that kind of thing. So be sure to check that out. As you know, I will see you back soon. Oh.